morning. I'm Alex Sloan, your authorized instructor in the golfing machine, and I'm going to make this tape for my favorite people in the world, the students of the golfing machine. We have to have some way to control the club shaft. So we're going to try to learn to control the club face, the club head, and the club shaft. Swing plane. Mr. Hogan made the word famous in his books when he started talking about the swing plane. And until he came along, people had no concept of what the swing plane was. The swing plane's invisible. It's intangible. You can't see it, feel it, or touch it. But it's always there. And it goes from horizon to horizon. And it's not the same angle with every club in the bag as a different angle because of the length of your shaft. But the base of that swing plane is a straight line. So every time we are swinging, we want the end of the shaft nearest the ground pointing at a straight line. Think about that now. The end of the shaft nearest the ground pointing at a straight line. Okay, so as I go back, I'm pointing that club at that line. Five times my club shaft will be parallel to that line. Then as I go on up, this traces that line. Get the top of the backswing, I'm parallel for the second time. I come back down, this traces that line. I'm parallel for the third time. Now that traces that line. I go through, I'm parallel for the fourth time. Now this traces that line, and very briefly I'll be parallel again for the fifth time up here. If you are on plane, this is imperative. In Mr. Kelly's famous book, in chapter 9, he talks about the three zones. Zone 3 being the zone of accuracy. He says there are six components dealing with accuracy. And he's got them numbered. They're 5, 6, and 7, 10, 23, and 24. That's plane line, plane angle, plane angle variation. Now think about it. Half of the six things dealing with accuracy in golf deal with the swing plane. How important can that be? So we must be on plane if we're going to continually hit the ball. Anytime you hit the ball and it is misdirected, not going at the target, you were off plane. If you are on plane, it can start straight. It may veer off for other reasons, but if the ball starts at the target, you were on plane. If it starts right or left, you were off plane. 